Hi guys, and um, welcome to my messy desk. I am seriously thinking of changing my Why Art Crafts YouTube name to The Messy Crafter because I'm in the middle, or I've started a journal yesterday. And I thought, well, I may as well do some of it online because some ladies have been asking how I make my journals. And I have to tell you, I'm all over the place. I go backwards and forwards. So on this one, I've already done the cover. <clears throat> As you can see, it's a soft cover made from cardstock and I've just sewn fabric onto it and it's just gorgeous. And then yesterday I'm probably going to unpick this because I think it looks ugly and I'll keep on and then I zigzagged around the edge in gold. This is paper that I did buy, it's a kit, um, gosh I can't remember who from but anyway it's kind of in the Louis the 14th era or Marie Antoinette and I've done some work on it so I'll quickly catch you up on it. This is tissue paper that I decoupaged onto a separate piece of paper and then I just glued it onto the inner page. <clears throat> I've done this one. I love the way it turned out. It's not finished. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do uh, more on it but again I decoupaged this actually I actually made a mistake with this I put this on and then when I had finished putting on my no not my gesso my oh, this is my gel medium I put another tissue on top I was just playing around and it kind of took off the top layer of this and left me with a very faint imprint of it and I love it and uh, now I'm going to do this side, <clears throat> same thing. <coughs> um, yeah, and I sewed this pocket with vintage paper, zigzagged it, and I had this in my stash, so I put it in. It's got a bit of a wobble here because I didn't glue it down very well. So maybe I don't know what I'm going to do there to hide it. But anyway, I thought this will go in here nicely. Zigzag some of my pages. I also did this yesterday. I, I again embossed normal bond paper or copy paper and I put two sheets together just to make it thicker. I had this in my stash, it's a ribbon from a soap box and I just thought it was beautiful. And um, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave this like this. Sometimes you know it's also nice just to leave something plain and then although I don't think this is plain. Anyway, I've put washi tape, two layers of washi tape to glue this down so it opens up. I may or may not do something there. I put more washi tape here. <clears throat> Just a quick run through to show you so far what I've done. Um, oh yes. I'm also um, decoupaged another serviette onto a piece of fabric and, I, and then I've cut it and sewn around it and I'm going to use this probably here to make a pocket. Now I think I'll do it this way with the... I think that looks quite nice. I mean it's almost identical the colours, the serviette to the paper. I've left this edge without anything because I want to put lace on it later. So I kind of go through and I, like I say, I move all over the place. I don't just do one page and finish it and that's it. <clears throat> this is another page I was playing around with and um, a long time ago and I've just added it to this journal because I think it goes so it's got this like lace doily on top of stitched music paper and I've used my waxes on here and uh, maybe I'll stick a pocket underneath there and do something else on top but I'll get to that later so I more or less lay out my journal as I go and then you know put a pocket here or whatever there I've stenciled here and then I go back and do more this is just another page this is a pocket and I added some lace and ribbon etc and oh yes <clears throat> when I did this I carried on I carried the washi tape to the other page I don't know why my dog is barking. There's really nothing to bark at these days since we're still on lockdown. 
yeah so I mean this paper is gorgeous I might have to print some more I think to use inside I wish I knew who I bought the kit from but you know I'm bad in remembering stuff like that so I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna do the other side I have already jizzoed this using the clear jizzo and now I am going to and I've got my little thing of water here with my brush I have my rag So if you're making a journal yourself now, you can just journal along with the Messy Crafter. <laughs> so this is the same serviette, it's too gorgeous, <clears throat> and for that I am going to use my gel medium which I've decanted into this. Why? It... Ah, sorry about the background barking. So I don't like to add too much water because it does make it bubble and wrinkle but I actually like that bubbly wrinkly effect I don't like things too serious in my uh, journal so let's just plop that down I think when it's wrinkled and stuff like this it just adds a bit more character especially if you <coughs> are going to um, distress it and you know stamp on it afterwards so I'll probably just do this on camera, show you a bit of my, <coughs> excuse my throat. You know me, hay fever even though it's a cold morning. So that's down. And then what I'm going to do to take off those edges, I'm just going to put the tip of the brush in water and then I can just it off. Like so. So this video will also be in parts. I mean, <laughs> I can't do it all at once. And I'll come back with parts that are already done and stuff, you know. But there's no right or wrong way to make a journal. You just go the way you like the way that suits you there are no journal police to come and critique your method of making a journal <clears throat> there we go see how easy it is with a bit of water I've taken off a little bit too much there and I might add some more I think there so that's a little bit wet let's just dry it I'm gonna take off Piece here. Oops, that nearly went spilling. Let's just put it here. And I think I just want a tiny piece for there. Good. Now I'm going to go over the top. <clears throat> I normally do two coats when I do this. Dry the first one and then apply another. Look at that. So don't use too much water when you do these with your gel medium or whatever it is you're using to decoupage with because it just kind of weakens everything. Look at that. I think that's pretty. And now, uh-oh, uh-oh, there we go. Let's just put that down. Great. And I'm going to put that aside to dry and I'm going to do <coughs> this one. This is a packet that I'm adding to the journal, which again, you can see I've decoupaged it. And then I was trying to do stenciling there, but I couldn't find my molding paste. And um, it just didn't work out. It need the paint, which is this one, needs something to hold it up. Um, but I found it. Hi. Uh, where is it? Opaque 
matte modeling paste. So I'm going to take a little bit. I'm always so scared of spilling water, you know. I've done it a number of times. Um, am I going to do both sides the same? Why not? So I thought uh, we will do, I think that's enough. Let's just put a bit more. Let's put some of this creamy, gorgeous. Ooh. You want to know how to open a bottle? I'm going to make a noise now that that's stuck together. Cloth. And this applies to jars, you know, with pickles and stuff in it. Hit it. Kind of knocks it. There we go. See how easily that opened? So that applies to, um, like I said, jars of pickles, olives, whatever jar you're opening that's got food in it. <laughs> Bang it on a towel or something and then it opens out nice and easy. So this is a molding paste, just mixing it. I think I want a little bit more paint. There you go. That looks good. Mixing it well. I've had this for a long time, this paste. I'm going to add a little bit more. <clears throat> I think that's fine. And now I don't need my brush for that. Let's just chop that. Let's see if I can do this nicely, because you know what? Sometimes it just doesn't work. I love this stencil. I actually have some to sell. It's uh, really, really pretty. So I'm going to put that there. I still have to do the other side. And then I'll put it aside to dry and work on something else. So let's see if I can hold this down nicely. See, we're already gone over the edge, but it's okay. I can't get too serious. Make sure to get all this the molding paste in there. Anyway, after I had that fail, I was trying to stencil with this paint, I just wiped it off. You know, the paint just didn't hold at all. <clears throat> hmm, look at that, I used it all. You know what, when they make these stencils, they should make these widths wider so you don't go over the edge. Of course, I could be more careful, but they really should give us some leeway with the plastic. Anyway, anyway, I think that should be okay. Let's take it off. Yeah, I messed it a little bit. Oh no, I didn't. It's, it's the paint underneath that I kind of wiped off. So, yeah, it looks a bit smudgy. But it's okay. It's still, it's, I think it still looks nice. And then I will do this edge, I think, too. Later. Um, where's my little 
rag. I'm just going to wipe this because normally I would just go straight away and clean this. You know, in water. So I'll just give it a quick bite. It actually even comes off fine um, when it's dry. What I do as well when I'm cleaning my stencils, I have one of those nail brushes. You know, it's soft bristles. Um, and that's what I clean these with. It just makes it easier. So I'm not gonna sit and dry this now. I'm just gonna put it aside and let that dry. And this one, it's also still wet. It's a cold day today. My doors are closed, so I've got no air coming in. So remember, your bottle's stuck and you wanna open it. Get a piece of cloth or a towel or something, bang it around and it opens very easily. Might have to bang it a few times. Now, let's just, where's my water? Here, okay, and my brush. Let's put that in the water. Yes. And let's just get rid of <laughs> my mess, my mess. Now you can see I've already put the ribbon on here. So where was that? Pretty, I still think I'm going to do something there. I don't know what. Oh, you know what I wanted to do as well? Is just put some gold paint on some of my pages. But I'm going to work quickly on this little pocket. I'm just going to attach it. Um, I might even do, let me attach it first. Just using my normal glue. I like it. I think, let me just stress the edges with some tea. This is tea dye. do the whole thing while I'm at it. Yeah. Let's just take all these extra little pieces. Yeah, I think that's going to make a very pretty po um, pocket. Yeah, this is fine. So that is the opening. I like to put my thumb on the opening because there are times where I've glued on in the wrong place. <laughs> and sometimes you can't turn it if the paper is, you know. So this is the opening. Let's put my glue. You can glue gun it down as well. I'm just going to use this. You can also use a double-sided tape, I suppose. I never use it for this. I use it mainly in mini albums. And just press it down. <clears throat> uh oh, come now. And you know, it just, just gives it a nice feel. This is just an old sheet that um, I've cut up. When I'm talking old, I'm talking from my youth days, and that's a long time ago. <laughs> the 70s. I grew up in the 70s. 60s and 70s. And no, I wasn't a hippie, I was too young. There we go. So now I have a lovely pocket and then I will put this back. Uh, it wasn't, didn't go there. I think it went here, wasn't it? Yeah. And maybe I'll edge that with some lace as well. Let's see. This one I'll probably do pamphlet stitch, the five hole pamphlet stitch to um, Put it inside. I have this piece of paper. I did have it in here, but I don't know, guys. If I'm going to put it in there, 
And then I'm going to do, I'm going to round my edges. And I'm going to do the big one. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because, you know, it's nice to have the different heights in here. And I think on this one, I'm going to edge as well. But I'm using the darker one, the walnut stain. And I like to do my folds. I'll do the other side, huh? So that is going to go in there. So I'm using the two colors of Distress Oxides in this journal, the tea dye and the walnut stain. That walnut stain is one of my favorite colors. So now I also have this envelope, it's got a bit of the shinies on it, I don't know if you can see that, and um, it's been coffee dyed as well. So look, how would it look if I distress it? I'm going to have to cut it, but I don't know if I'm going to cut it, you know why? Because I also like things sticking out of journals and with a bit of lace at the top to make it look pretty. So I am going to glue this down. open it on this side. I did have a letter opener but my husband stirred it. <laughs> um, let's put my material scissors out the way so I don't use it by accident. Now this is actually quite hard to tear. This is handmade paper. So yeah, it's better just to just cut it. And then I'm gonna rough up the edges. Oops. Where's my rougher upper? There it is. Because that doesn't look nice, just cut like that. It doesn't look nice. So Let's just do this, yeah. Okay, it looks better already. And the other side. I want to do one side and not the other. Walnut stain, gotta edge it. Yeah. And then I should actually put this on uh, my because I could even stick it there. No. Where are we going to stick this? Let's go to the back. Let's do it. No. I suppose we could do it this way, hey? But before that, I have to put some lace on. 
otherwise I also have these little pieces of fabric this is wool pure wool it's beautiful and I've just taken off a few of these strands and I think they, they will go very nicely on a tag um, that's too wide look at this gorgeous fabric this goldy I love it so what am I gonna put there let me bring you my look for some this. It can be white, I think. Let's pull this one out. See what I mean about being messy? That's me. I uh, also have this. Not much left, as you can see. It's just too beautiful. But that, I don't think, will go well on the top, will it? What if I do this? nice yes I'm gonna put this one so I'm gonna cut it actually it doesn't even have to be exact let's do it put that away and I'm gonna put it's so pretty this one it's wedding lace of course very pricey of course I can also use this this piece is, let's just glue it down. So this will form a nice pocket. So I love this glue. This is my Atlas Crafters glue that I use. So I finished that envelope. Um, and here it is, completely different. <laughs> so what I did, this is the envelope here. I glued this piece of paper onto it. Remember I showed you that sheet. <clears throat> so I made another pocket there. And that's uh, the, the lacy bit. Then I made a pocket here as well with, uh, with some of the fabric. I added a stamp some dictionary paper and another piece of this and I will probably put a button on there as well. Then I added another piece from the kit of paper, also a pocket and um, and then I put, uh, yeah, with dictionary paper and I also zigzagged it. So this works like that. So we have tuck spot there, envelope here, Another envelope here, Ugh, envelope um, pocket, and of course one here and here, lots and lots and lots, and a pocket there. So that's how it turned out. See how things can just turn out completely different. I just wanted to add a different dimension on this. So I will be back with more. Please let me know if you're enjoying this tutorial. If um, if not, then I won't continue. Um, let me know. Thanks very much, guys. Ciao.